and welcome to Frightfully Forgotten's Season 3 Finale. We just wanted to do a uh, shout out to some of the people that uh, we've gotten to know over the past year. I mentioned some movies that we really enjoyed doing that were uh, some of the fan recommendations. Yeah, we kind of went through our list and decided what movies we really enjoyed that we reviewed that people had recommended to us. And, you know, there's lots. And uh, The Baby was <laughs> quite the gem that it's like, ah. Oh, I'm so glad that this movie exists and that I have had the chance to watch it. And review it, too, yeah. you know. It's so wild. It's yeah. so off-the-wall yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's it's unbelievable, really. <laughs> Another one uh, that we both really enjoyed was Terror at the Red Wolf Inn, too. And yeah. that's another that was, like, so off-the-wall wacky. And weird and yeah. low-budge and... But you could tell that, like, it was the inspiration for a lot of movies that followed, yeah. right? <laughs> like <Look> that, <laughs> Regina? <laughs> Look at that! Mm -hmm. <laughs> All those ribs. Our buddy Carl had uh, told us to watch Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, and we reviewed it, and it was tons of fun. And yeah. a movie kind of that really sparked, like, the child in me. You know, and then watching these guys make this low-budget horror movie, like, ah, oh, fuck, we did that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what we did. We just didn't get it commercially released. <laughs> yeah, or do it, a very good job. No, yeah, that too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was part of the whole zombie genre just in its infancy, too. Yeah, right? building it, making it into what it is now, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Night of the Creeps was another one that we did, and this yeah. one was uh, suggested to us by Ron Moore. We did the uh, the podcast thing with him, which was a lot of fun. The Manitoba Money Shot <laughs> hey. podcast. Hey, yeah. Tom Atkins is in it, and it's got everything you want. It's got sci-fi, horror, B-movie to the max, but done very well. Yeah, it's, it's done, like, just... Hollywood perfect, yeah. you know, yeah. it's yeah. big budget, everything. Another one we got to mention is uh, we did the VHS Tale of Convoy, which yeah. was suggested to by our good friend uh, Chad. Yeah. And uh, it that I really enjoyed doing it too. Yeah. Like I really enjoyed editing that <laughs> that episode. Um, I remember doing it. I was having a few drinks just like enjoy myself so much and I was messaging you as I was doing it saying fuck this is a blast <laughs> it, I don't think I've had so much fun throughout the whole time we've been doing this editing uh, uh, an episode as it did the convoy episode we also want to give a shout out to a channel that's kind of contacted us we've got to know them a little bit and their content is spectacular it's so funny another Canadian channel called Life After Late Fees, you couple of fucking hosers. <laughs> we'll raise our glasses to you, and uh, you've been saying to do a collaboration sometime. In the new year, we're going to try it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And you guys got a lot of wicked Big Trouble in Little China shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, one thing I've always wanted to see come out like on the market is a great big 18-inch toy of Lopan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the, uh, the Guardian. The yeah. <laughs> what he sees, Lopan knows. Yeah. <laughs> like a big one yeah, or something. A big life-size <laughs> head Guardian thing. That'd be awesome. If I had a pair of Jack Burton boots, I don't think I could stop myself from wearing them <laughs> yeah. almost all the time. It'd be like one of those things like, I want them to stay pristine, but... <laughs> I have to walk around looking ridiculous. You're all naked and wearing those boots? <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> sleeping them, you're naked, but you still got the boots on when you're sleeping. You're all hot, too, and everything's sweating in them. <laughs> We haven't decided exactly yet which movies we'll be doing next year for season four. We might have to start off by putting our brains together for some underrated part four movies. That's gonna be tough. Which might be tough. So if you guys have any recommendations for a good part four that's, you know, a, actually a good part four and <laughs> underrated, let us know and we'll consider it for next year. 2020. All right. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. And keep drinking. 
hard. 